<laughs> oh, intro? Intro? Let's do an intro. You are there ladies and gents, those of you that were watching there just can see that I am with Mr Fish and uh, we're off exploring. This is a lane that I've not been along before so it is all entirely new to me and as you can see I am on my Touareg 660. Now when you haven't been along a lane before it can be a little bit intimidating. Uh, gosh, glad I've got nobbles. Yeah, this don't look right. I'm not saying it's not right, but it don't look right. <laughs> so I'm going to check the map again. Huh? I'm going to check the map again. Sorry, mate. <laughs> right. yeah. But I think we're I think we're okay. Yeah. I think we're okay. Right. Let's take this on lanes I wasn't expecting to be doing today. All right, slightly technical ones. But this is an adventure. It's supposed to be a little bit technical, isn't it? So in a minute we should come across an old disused railway line. Ugh. This is getting serious stuff now. I'm really expecting there to be an old railway line along here in a minute. Or else we are possibly not where we should be. And not really looking forward to having to turn around along here. <laughs> well, I wasn't quite expecting this today. I thought we were going to be doing mild green lanes. <laughs> I am all over the place on this. Yeah, my tyres have clogged up with mud. Wowzers. <laughs> Excuse the slow pace, but this is a much bigger bike than I'm used to playing on. The skinny little lanes like this. <sighs> it's an adventure. It's exploring. But this bike is like just, it's just easy. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit more of a reach to the ground for me than my uh, beta. But this is far more explory than I was expecting. Sorry for me keeping on repeating myself. Oh, I hope I don't have to turn around around here. <laughs> But we're getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere. Um, yeah, so today's gonna to be quite an interesting day. A few lanes that I've not done before, um, like this one, as well as, uh, <coughs> sorry, bug's still in my throat, um, as well as uh, some historical sort of places. Nothing major exciting worth necessarily an actual video all to itself. Um, but we're just going past some interesting places. The area we're in, is all along a really very important Roman road from back in the day called Stain Street. Oh, this bike is brilliant. This bike really is very, very competent. I'm sitting down for it all just because if I stand up, I know I'll not get a foot down so easily. Um, but yeah, yeah, so we're going past some historical places throughout the day today and our end result is getting to Alton Cafe, um, to Lumi's Cafe, sorry, not Alton Cafe. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. What's that? <laughs> Stay away from the light! It looks alright. I just have to go through it very slowly. <laughs> I am enjoying it, it's just um, daunting. This wasn't the lane I was expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be a farm track. <laughs> yeah. Can you move back just a little bit? Uh, I'm amazed at how well this is doing. Yeah, on the beach, I'd be laughing. All right, let's try and get past this tree. We 
we made it, we're alive. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, it's going to be kind of an interesting day. Very unplanned. Um, I did look up the route yesterday to uh, see what we were going to do today. Just to do something different out in the glorious sunshine that we've got. And we're certainly feeling like doing something different, that's for sure. Oh, I'm glad this first gear is so very tractable. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that's uh, possibly stuck. <laughs> it's a bit sticky. Yeah, it I'm impressed you got through. <laughs> so am I. All power. All power. Brute force and ignorance. I know. We're like adventurous. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this one here isn't as bad as that one was. Um, I mean, this did it. This did it absolutely fine. Fine and dandy. No problem at all. Um, but that's about as tough as I want the day to get on the lanes. Yeah, at some point I will fall off this, I know I will. Um, but I don't want to, so I don't want to make it happen. Ah. Well, that's blooming awesome, that is. Blooming awesome. So all the lanes I'm doing today are from the Green Road Map, which is a website from the TRF, which sort of lists all the green lanes in the UK and their status. Um, it's really quite handy. There's going to be quite a lot of tarmac today, um, but I'm going to try and edit out most of that. Although I will keep some of it in because it, it adds context to what we're doing, where we are and stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll tr I'll try and show you, even if there's not much to show, the interesting lanes that we come to. Today isn't about going fast, even on the easier bits. It's just enjoying the sunshine, enjoying the weather, enjoying getting out on the motorbikes. <laughs> cool, that caught me out. <laughs> Sand, this can do apparently. I'm not saying it can do it well, but that's because of me, not the bike. <laughs> this is awesome. Here we go, we made it, we're alive. And Mr. Fish ain't far behind. So back in the day, back in the Roman times, this was an absolute hub. Um, there's a villa just up to the right here, which has got an amazing tapestry there. I've, I've done a visit on it, I might link to that at the end. Um, but, but yeah, it's an incredible place to visit. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend you check out that video if history and stuff like that is something that you uh, like the look of. Um, but, but yeah, we're not going to that today, but we're exploring all around this. So that villa was right on the, the, the hub of Stain Street. Um, so they traded there, they were a farm and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, quite an awesome place back in its day. Now I think this is the way we want to go. So yeah, we sort of dart on and off of Stain Street on this run. Um, I'm not sure exactly which bits are and which bits aren't, just because my map is being stupid. All the sat-navs, all the sat-navs, and uh, yeah, they're not actually really being very helpful to me. What I need to do is make up a GPX route, and that way I'll uh, be able to sort of um, map where I'm going a little bit better. Oh, this is a good steep hill. Glad it's not on mud <laughs> or chalk. <laughs> so when we get to the top of this hill, we get to a Neolithic settlement. Um, yeah, yeah, from uh, back in the olden, olden, olden days. <laughs> and there's not a lot to see up there. I think it's just a flat bit of ground with some mounds around the edges of it. Um, but we'll stop up there, catch a breath, 
and maybe see what the views are like. This place is bloody marvellous. Bloody marvellous. I'm so chuffed with it. As far as I'm concerned, this is all pretty darn explorey, even if it is on tarmac. It's loads of fun. Loads of fun. Right, this is the car park, I think, and that's possibly the um, Neolithic Fort. But we'll stop up here, because I think we're going down that way. But we'll stop. <laughs> Catch a breath up here as well as pictures. <laughs> so that's the way we're going, down there. So I had hoped to show you the Neolithic settlement up here, um, but I can't do that because it's sort of over that way-ish and it's all fenced off and um, to be honest I don't really want to walk a million miles in bike kit on a hot day. So uh, yeah, so Londinium is over that way. Sutton, not the Londinium Sutton, is just down there and that's where we're heading, down this little lane here. Uh, which takes us to a farm and then a little some trails and stuff um, then we get another lane and get over to a main road I don't know what this Novo Novio Magus is maybe I'll have to look that up when I get home but Novio Magus what does that mean right let's go find stuff let's go explore let's have some fun there's some incredible views up here and we're quite high up you can see why they would have put their Neolithic settlement up here because it would have been a lot harder for people to come and be nasty to them and they'd see them coming from miles away um, but yeah we were allowed down here <laughs> um, I wasn't quite expecting quite such climbs and clambers today <laughs> as I said before on the other uh, lane we were on it's all a little bit more than I was expecting but this bike is just going yep we can do this I think I would benefit by having the lower seat when it comes out just for that ease of being able to get a foot down um, but so far I've managed so far oh this is awesome little explore very very awesome it's a shame Big Pez couldn't come out with us today he had other stuff going on not sure what but uh, real life and all that sort of stuff well, this is really really fun oh it's getting a bit gnarly gnarly <laughs> I think even on my beta I wouldn't be going much faster than this so the bike isn't really slowing me down um, but I am more cautious just because one it's harder to get a foot down on this and two it's also very big and expensive and heavy <laughs> oh brilliant explore brilliant brilliant explore I feel this one is slightly inspired by Captain Cranky because he always goes off and finds adventures not necessarily on his doorstep but yeah he always finds adventures what awesome buildings and now we're on what's classed as a proper road I believe magnificent I love our little South Downs area we're so lucky to live in such a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Although it's very easy to switch this point between modes, we're not going fast, so I'm just leaving it in off-road mode. Uh, I don't really need traction control to the extreme along here. We're just not going fast enough. We're exploring and enjoying. Right, this way is the way. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> it just looks like a path to you guys I know but to me <laughs> it's like a mountain and actually it's becoming a mountain wowzers that's steep that is steep coming up gotta be careful not to let the bike run away from me but also to not tense up too much wowzers <laughs> This bike's doing great! It's flattering me, even if I'm not looking very good. Oh, this is fantastic exploring. Really, really awesome. Sometimes feeling like I wish I was on the beta, but actually, I bought this bike to ride it. So let's blooming ride it, let's enjoy it. Oh yeah! This is steep, this is steep! 
Oh, what a fantastic, fantastic explore. Brilliant, I love motorcycles, I love motorcycles. Awesome, 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 awesome. Well, this is proving a good test for the uh, sump guard that the bike comes with because all sorts of stuff's getting thrown up at it. It's all logs and sticks and stuff, not rocks particularly. So, um, yeah, if it survives these, it gives me a little bit more hope that it'll survive rocks. How amazing is this? Brilliant. Oh, what a proper pucker. Explore. Oof. Bouncy, bouncy. It's all in the chalk hills. I bet this is nasty in the, in the winter. All wet chalk it would be. Oh, oh hello pheasant. <laughs> um, yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be fun, I don't think, if this was all wet. But it's not, it's dry. It's dry and marvellous. And all this is really not too far from home. It's a bit of a, a road stretch to get to it, but not too far from home at all. Well, we're just about at the end of this one, so I'm going to stop the camera and get the map up again just to work out where we're going next. Um, but yeah, loving it, loving it, loving it. And look at that view. Oof. Hard to do that in the wet. No, that would be gnarly, that would, wouldn't it? <laughs> Proper chalk. <laughs> so it's Timwood Lane, and that's what we want to do. Yep. I guess that way's private property. Oh, let's get this up. This is just fantastic. I wonder how many times on this video I will have said fantastic or awesome. <laughs> but I am having the day of all days. I find on this it's got such good engine braking. Oh, look at them bluebells. I find on this it's got such good engine braking that I, I really hardly need to cover the brakes at all. Um, but I am covering the clutch just because it's a big old girl. Oh, this is absolutely fantasticals. Possibly reaching the end of my vocabulary at the moment. I feel that good. I can barely speak proper, proper sentences. It's weird that I'm standing up on this, which is all really, really easy stuff. Yeah, I was sitting down on the more gnarly stuff. <laughs> and I know, I know that if I stood up, I would have a better centre of gravity and it would all be easier. It would all be easier. But my brain was telling me I need to be able to reach my feet to the ground because this is a big old bird. It's a big old bird. Now what we have coming up next, I think we have to do a couple of jig jags, zigzags and stuff to get where we're going. Um, but yeah, what we have coming up next is kind of cool. Don't know if we're going to pass it, um, but we've got Boxgrove Priory, which is a, uh, a ruined priory. Um, that I visited again in another vi video many moons ago. Um, I'll probably link to them down below rather than in this, but yeah, yeah, all awesome, awesome stuff. Um, but I need to work out which way we're going from now. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's that way or that way, so I will map it. Yeah, where we go, well, you go that way, that way. <laughs> Just go straight away, 50 50. <laughs> I had hoped to have had a better view of the forest there um, but that forest there is on what is known as the Devil's Ditch and that dates back to uh, 50 BC, 50 years before Christ um, and it's all part of the fortifications of a group of settlers, a Gaul, Gaul, Gaelic Gaul settlers um, back in back in 50 BC and uh, yeah they made fortifications around where they'd settled um, and there's quite a big area that they covered so it must have been quite a large settlement um, but yeah yeah to protect them from baddies and it's all kind of cool it's all kind of cool indeedy do now Goodwood have actually done the right thing and tried to preserve the wood a bit uh, well this is weird um, I think we're going this way. Um, yeah, Goodwood have done done well to try and preserve that little bit of woodland, and you can kind of make out the the ditch that was there all them many many years ago. I'm hoping, yes, yes, good. We know where we're going. We know where we're going. We're going right here. 
right, right, baby. We've got a shit spreader in front of us. Nice. Right, so this little one here, this lane here, takes us uh, on the way towards the Wildon Downland Open Air Museum, I believe, which is like a living history type place where they've got uh, all old ways of living and they have people that just hang around and do things olden style um, in the olden days, but not quite that olden days. My grandma used to work there. Um, I'm not quite sure what era it sort of represents. I'm not sure how far back it goes, uh, but it's quite an interesting place and it's somewhere where I'd quite like to go on a visit at some point. Um, I've been before when I was a child, but not been as an adult, so uh, yeah, I'd probably appreciate it more now, especially with the nostalgia of, of my grandma who's passed, having used to work there. But yeah, this is just brilliant. It's not a challenging lane, although it probably is for fish behind me, because he's eating my dust at the moment. <laughs> all this chalk dust is flying up and that's his friend now, all the way along it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if he tries to get past me just to uh, share the love. Okay, it's getting a little bit technical here. Let's stay over on the right. And again, stay right. Uh, I'll swap over and back again and back again and back again. Stick it into first. This is awesome! I think this is a, a lane that possibly Pez has brought us along in the past um, and I think actually him and Phil did it the other day but How beautiful is this? Got all the rolling hills Again this would be nasty in the wet <laughs> All chalk, chalk and flint But now it's gorgeous this, proper gorgeous Oh yeah! Miles of smiles. Oop. It's easy to get suckered into enjoying the views, but I'm still riding a motorcycle <laughs> and I've still got to make sure I don't smash and die and crash into a big burning ball of fire and chalk and danger. <laughs> Who'd have thunked it, eh? That this sort of stuff was so accessible to us all. Magnificent. Just trying to absorb it all, you know? So much wonder in our world. And so much joy to be had just from something as simple as a hill. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't live in an area that's flat, a lot of England is, and I'm glad we don't live there, that's for sure. Did you want to stop for a coffee? Yeah, why not? Oh, did you? <laughs> wow, you can see the uh, cathedral over there. I assume the GoPro can pick it out, but I don't know. But wonderful, wonderful area, a wonderful location to live. Right, well I've had a nice cup of coffee and a toasty, which was awesome, from the tea box. A pervade of fine tea and coffee, and they're not wrong. And what a beautiful view to have that from. So we are now all calorified and uh, ready to crack on to find some more adventures. Um, yeah, what a bloody blinding day, eh? What a bloody blinding day indeed. Thanks to Mr Fish for buying me lunch. Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh, that's really quite strong, that is, and hurty. Keep that boy from a side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that boy from a side down. <laughs>